hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking play on my video today we will be getting into a little get ready with me for the pumpkin patch and i will also be answering some questions of just how i feel about me turning 30. if you want to see how my glam turns out and just want to know a little bit more about me if you're new in my channel or if you already know me and you want to know what I'm going to talk about. Keep watching and if you do, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel if you have not done so. Also, if you are subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you turn on your notification bell so you don't miss a video every time I upload because I will be uploading two times a week now, which will be Fridays and Mondays. So you don't want to miss any of my upcoming videos. Let's get started. I just came back from a haircut that I am loving. Your girl needed a haircut. The ends of my hair were looking so, so bad. It was just not cute. <laughs> I'm really liking it. Okay. Me, I will be eating my fresas con crema. I'm like halfway done. Why is this so cute? <laughs> so I have washed my face, cleaned it up, and I will be priming it now with this primer. I got this at Marshalls for $3. And I had never tried it before, but I just thought it was such a good price. And honestly, I do. I have been really liking it. Foundation goes on super, super smooth. So, so far, so good. Okay, the first thing I do is my eyebrows. So how are you guys? I hope you guys are doing great. I am doing okay myself. In 16 days, I'm gonna be turning 30. I am nervous but excited to change my number, like my digit from a two to a three. I feel like it's such a big deal. Do I feel accomplished? Like, do I feel like, oh, I've gotten where I want to being 30? Honestly, I feel over accomplished <laughs> because the mentality I have when I was a teenager and I feel like part of my 20s, I had a very like bad negative mentality that I don't think I ever would have thought to have been living this wonderful life I'm living. At 21, I became a mom, which was the best thing to ever happen to me. At 25, I got married um, to a man I love and that loves me back. That's the other best thing to happen to me. At 29, actually, I graduated with my bachelor's degree, which to me was a huge deal, is a huge deal because I'm the first to graduate what the fudge this mosca and it's not like a mosca it's like one of those annoying flies a huge deal to me because i don't come from a family where we go to college <laughs> first generation first to graduate in my family obviously you can see how that's a big deal for foundation i'm gonna be using this morphe foundation that i have been using for like a week and i also got it at marshall's for like four dollars like winning or what it is amazing it's a matte foundation and i'm using the f290 it's like one of those foundations that that like goes on your skin like sticks on and it's very light it's like such a summer foundation i know we're in fall now but now i know like this is a foundation i would definitely use through summer because it's super super light and it's full coverage which is a win-win i'm gonna be cleaning up my eyebrows you guys could see why me getting a bachelor is such a big deal and growing up i never thought i was a smart person like i never considered myself being smart i obviously have my reasons why but it's like a long story so that can be for like a story time video if you guys want but yeah that's why for me, even for me and for my family it's just such a big deal that i actually accomplished to finish you know a career that i got a degree uh because i just proved to myself how smart i am and how sometimes you don't even have to be intelligent <laughs> to get a degree 
you just gotta really want it you know like that's something i did prove to myself do i feel accomplished i feel over accomplished that's the answer to that question what am i taking from my 20s to my 30s a whole lot of lessons <laughs> And if you follow me on Instagram, I have been doing a lesson a day since October 1st. I post a lesson that I have learned in my, in my 20s and that I'm taking to my 30s. So I've been posting a lesson every day, but one of the biggest things that I have really, really learned and that I'm gonna take with me for the rest of my life, and this is something I learned when I was in my 20s, even though I grew up in a costo, even though I grew up in a religious home, I did not learn this till I, I was in my 20s, is that anything is possible with God. That, I don't know if that needs more explanation. In my 20s, I experienced depression, anxiety, things that I never, ever in my life thought I would have had to go through, things that I never even understood before. And without God, I would have never gotten through that. Like he made everything just so clear to me. He cleared the path. Like I just went through so much when I, in my 20s that, whew, man, it's just a lot. That I know for a fact, a lot of times, and that's why I'm so excited to turn 30. A lot of times I didn't think I would make it through. Like a lot of times I didn't want to be alive. A lot of times I would put myself in very dangerous situations put stuff in my body that I had no idea where they came from. I just didn't love myself. And without God, I pretty much wouldn't be here today. And that's the biggest and best thing that from my 20s, I'm taking to my 30s. There's an answer to that. Look at how beautiful these colors are. They are so beautiful. This I look at this and it just gives me such fall vibes. I think I'm gonna just wear a gray turtleneck and a green jacket and jeans in my black boot boots. So I think I'm just gonna do like brown and then like add glitter. So let's do that. Another question about my 30s would be maybe something I regret when I turn tw when my 20s. Oh. What do I regret? That's a hard one. I hate being like those people like, oh, I regret this, you know, but honestly, I just like probably just regret not being an honest person when I was 20. A lot of times, in my culture at least, I was taught that everything that happens at home stays at home. I didn't know I had picked that up and after I had Ezra and I was very depressed, it was really obvious like to my family and to everybody that knew me that I was depressed, that there was something wrong with me, like something just wasn't okay, it was very obvious and they would reach out to me all the time and I'm telling you like I would cry every single night, like I couldn't sleep because I would cry so much. And I, for some reason, it took me months to be honest to one person and to say, I'm literally at the edge right now. Like I'm done with life, like I'm I'm done. And it, I got to that point because I couldn't be honest. Cause for some reason I just thought, this is nobody's business. Why do I need to talk about this? Like, who are they? Like, heck no, they're gonna spread rumors. They're gonna tell this person, they're gonna tell this, that. And when I, I was, thank God, I was actually opened to the right person that this person helped me out and actually prayed for me took me with a group of people that were going to pray for me and help me and support me took me to get therapy like they were constantly checking up on me so i was very blessed to have told the right person that's actually something that i do regret from my 20s honestly i do not know how to use makeup brushes like you give me a brush and I somehow just get lucky <laughs> on where it and like what I do with it, but I just, I'm terrible with like makeup brushes. Ooh, I really like that though. It added like, it's like way darker, but it added like a burgundy brown. Eyes done. All I need is eyelashes, but I accidentally forgot to buy some and I ran out, so 
that's gonna be at the end. If not, I'll just end up wearing mascara. Next topic, face. This concealer is bomb. Also Morphe, I guess I'm into Morphe right now. Huh? What about you guys? How old are you guys? Did you guys feel excited when you guys were turning 30? Or if you are barely turning 30, are you nervous? Do you feel like I'm gonna be really old? <laughs> I wonder. Does everybody feel this excited? <laughs> like me? I have heard some people complaining like, Oh my God, I'm turning 30. So I'm just like, yeah, thank God. <laughs> Not everybody makes it to their 30s. Be grateful. Okay, Morphe mascara too. What is going on with me today? The Cora highlight palette that um, I dropped and I was very broken. <laughs> Okay, I actually really love how my makeup came out, so when I put on lashes, it's over. It is over, and I'm going to be using this lipstick, Ioni. This is the brand that apparently went viral on TikTok, and I had to check it out. And honestly, their eyelashes are so good. And I really like this lip gloss. Love it. I am officially done. So let me go change and I will be right back. I know I didn't change it, but you know how I told you guys I didn't have eyelashes? Shout out to Pretty Base Co. I will tag, tag their Instagram for dropping these eyelashes for me. They had a sale. Oh, they're so pretty. They had a sale for $5, so I got both of these for $10, which is a really good deal. And I've used their lashes before, and they've been amazing. Um, they are just two girls from the neighborhood uh, that started their own lash company. Very young girls, entrepreneurs. Yeah, go follow them on Instagram and support local businesses. It's like this half, I'm a different person. These eyelashes are my leg right now, you guys. I feel like I didn't even need eyeliner. My weak ass eyeliner. I'm obsessed right now. Like they are just so beautiful. Five dollars! Go get them. I'm shocked on how easy they go on. Wow, you girls. Pretty babe po. That's where all the girls need to be at. Go freaking support. Guys, I'm just too in my right now. I can't, I can't, I can't. I'm like, these eyelashes just gave me like a whole ass personality. Like you guys don't understand how I feel. The selfies aren't gonna stop tonight. Okay, now for real, it's already like getting time to leave. So I'm gonna go change. <laughs> Left my makeup, let me go change. Ta-da! Oh, I was like, what is that? The neighbor's playing music. I am ready. I feel like my outfit is super simple, but very put together. Does that make sense? I also feel like I've used this before, but you know, I'm just a regular mom. I repeat outfit, it's all good. That was my video of get ready with me for the pumpkin patch. I'm ready to go take a million selfies. I am feeling myself. Oh, I feel like I needed this reminder. 
Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. I love you guys. Thank you for all your support. God bless you guys. Have a wonderful day.